Hello everybody, it is Badge Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers review video. This time we're doing another hover concept, if many of y'all saw the community post that I put out over this new hover project. Uh, you guys have been psyched for it, but for those of y'all that have missed it, this is what we're looking at right here today. This is the Wolverine hover tank. It is tough, it is fast, it is agile, and uh, it is a bit of a beast. It's more of a concept in that I was trying to figure out whether I could build a hover tank and make it look good. And uh, this is the kind of futuristic thing I've come up with. Um, it's armed with one Gatlin gun, one cannon, two camera systems, uh, the Gatling gun's more of a anti-ship, in other words, fighters coming in to take you on. This thing does not run, it, it doesn't shoot down enemies trying to kill it. It basically outmaneuvers rockets and stuff. It's not trying to shoot them down. Anyway, let's get to looking at this awesome looking tank over here, and then we'll go shoot some stuff. On here on the side, you can see this is working off four... Uh, wheel hover systems in other words is just taking these wheels and turning them to frictionless uh you guys will be able to take this play with it inside um off of steam i am going to upload this to the steam workshop so you guys can go in and take a look at it. link in the description for those of y'all that are wanting to get it there will be a link to it and y'all can pull this thing and it is completely vanilla by the way <laughs> completely vanilla and completely worked on we have our interesting looking turret and i did as much deflection but broadsiding as i could similar to a leopard tank we've got a couple armor blocks some a nice camera up here camera for our main gun some caging in the back for that cargo area in the top of a tank turret which is normally seen around there we've got one gatlin turret built into this thing asymmetrically and uh, this is not an uncommon thing for a tank turret to be asymmetrical. In fact, the M1 Abrams, probably one of the most famous tanks in modern history, uh, has an asymmetrical turret. None of it, <laughs> if you look at it from the top down, it is all kinds of weird angles. Not not one of them is a, not one of them mirrors the other side of the tank. Going from there, uh, <clears throat> we've got red lights on top, some yellow lights on the front, and kind of hidden thrusters like we did in the Desert Ranger or Desert Ranger, we've got a couple thrusters on the side, five thrusters in front, five on each side, and six in the back for maximum acceleration. A uh, couple of landing gears on the back, so you can hook this thing directly up into a ship or a lander craft and have it dropped, as well as two cockpits and these nice bad boys here, so you can access, add more ammunition, add more bullets, add more fuel, all that good stuff. It has three turret control blocks because I planned on making my own Gatlin turret, but it kind of chucked that idea for a Gatlin, for a base Gatlin turret. So if you guys want to put your own Gatlin turret on this thing later and customize it, you're more than welcome. Uh, as far as how does it work? Well, we've got one cockpit here. This would be the gunner seat. The gunner would operate the main gun, move it around or activate the camera here, which will give targeting cycling for this Gatlin gun so we can shoot targets up in the air. But where we, we get started at, oh, also we get two brake lights in the back. Where we start is right here in the back. You can see here, we've got lock and unlock for number one. We've got number three for power on. Number five for batteries on and off. Number seven for all our lights. And number nine for our thrusters, and if those aren't on, this thing will adrift. That's why you need to be able to hook it into a wall or something and let it go. And then we've got access to all of our other stuff. This is the primary camera, which is used to cycle. Shirk, and oh, look, we've got some healers on the horizon. We're gonna have to deal with those in just a minute. Uh, coming out of that, we have the primary main gun, which is our main heavy cannon here. Hop back here, you can see this thing operate. It is throttled down, so it is much easier to maneuver because this thing kind of wobbles a little bit. And then for our last one, we have access to our Gatlin turret, which will enable us to push. And we'll be able to, whoop, <laughs> we'll be able to utilize that turret as best we can. 
But right now, let's see how does this thing fly because it is, or not fly, how does it drive? It is all heavy armor, by the way. Um, there is very little on this thing that is light armor except maybe some detailed blocks, but let me just show you here. It's about what you'd expect from a hover tank. It's not supposed to be fast. It's not supposed to be too slow. It is just that middle point where it feels like it's got weight to it and it feels good. Anyway, we're going to take this sucker over here, set ourselves into position, access our primary main gun. We're going to give these healers a rude awakening in three, two, one. Appears to be. I think we got a direct hit on that one healer. I'm trying to figure out why we're moving so much. Oh, that's why. The uh, inertial dampeners are off. Okay, let's let's turn those babies back on here real quick. This is why you need a gunner for this thing because it has a tendency to drift a little bit. And that's the one problem with this tank is it will just drift. Hop back in here. Let's activate this bad boy cannon here and aim a little higher. We might have killed it that time. Looked like a direct hit. Let's aim just a tad bit higher. And for some reason, the healer is surviving. I don't know why. Let's drive on over there and see if it's okay. It should not have withstood all of those impacts, unless the cannon is just not doing the damage I want to. Yeah, as I said, you can take this thing, you can fly with it. And it will slow itself down if it has to. Let's see, were we even hitting it? Or is it because I own it, I can't destroy it? Well, answer that question. We can definitely destroy it. So as you can see, you know, it's it's got the cannon, it's got the capability. You can definitely mess something's day up with it. One good blast here, and that second healer will be finished. Or maybe we'll have to hit it a third time. I don't know. Let's hop out of that there. Let's give this uh, Gatlin gun a bit of a run here. you got to watch the Gatlin gun, because if it goes too low, it will start shredding this armor right here. But yeah, you can see how this thing operates and how it runs. It is just, it's a fast and pretty agile little tank. I mean, it can it can get to speed rather quickly if you want it to. Plus, it's got the nice look to it of a decent-sized hover tank, you know. Just driving in there. Let's, let's go ahead and aim. I know there's a hydrogen tank, like, right here somewhere. Let's aim right about there. Oh, yes, that did it right there. That caused problems. Let's hit it one more time. When you can come out here and treat your vehicles like warthogs in Halo. Yeah, that did it. One more for good measure. Yeah, just a fun little tank to play around with. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like and a subscribe in there. As usual, this is just the Wolverine hover tank. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can see the carnage it's wrought and just the speed that it can go at. It, like I said, it's just it's an odd concept building a hover tank, but it moves. You can see right here, we're hitting pretty good speed over rough terrain. And you can jump this thing and move it. Like I said, this thing is something y'all will want to play with. It's a lot tougher than the Desert Ranger. You don't have to be as nice to it. By the way, like I said, leave me a like, a comment, and a subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also, link in the description to where the Wolverine hover tank is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I am Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.